Hello and welcome to Sci-Fi Shores. The Cafe 80s was a nostalgia restaurant on Courthouse Square in 2015 to remind the citizens of Hill Valley of the 1980s and was painted with pastel colors inspired by Miami Vice, Ronald Reagan, and Michael Jackson. Also, there was a Max Headroom style video waiter simulation on a TV monitor advertising the day's special. Jackson's hit Beat It was also one of the songs used for the background music. Pepsi was sold there for $2 a bottle as Pepsi Perfect. There was a Wild Gunman video arcade game to the left side of the cafe and a Pac-Man arcade game bearing the sign Priceless Artifact, Do Not Touch, on the right side. When Marty McFly ordered a Pepsi Perfect using a $50 bill given to him by Emmett Brown to pay, the bottle rose up in a clear plastic tube from within the counter into the center of one of the large circular recesses bearing the Pepsi logo on the countertop. The tube then descended after Marty removed the bottle. The walls of the cafe were covered in memorabilia, including an American flag next to the flag of the USSR to symbolize the Cold War which reached its height during the early to mid 80s. A wall of television monitors showed reruns of some of the most popular TV shows. As a reference to both the cafe's time as Lou's Aerobic Fitness Center in 1985 and the returning popularity of trends from the 80s, there were two exercise bikes on which a man and woman, to whom Griff Tannen ordered to keep pedaling you to, after throwing Marty Jr. over the counter, were still working out. It would appear that the Cafe 80s was an international chain, as there was also a branch in Moscow. However, according to the Newsline column on the front page of the October 22, 2015 issue of USA Today, this had been closed down due to the Russians not being nostalgic about the 1980s or the USSR.